the Star Wars brand is iconic and recognized around the world. But have you ever once thought about how it would look like if someone else other than George Lucas had created it? Well, okay, neither have I. But it's still a fun and interesting topic to think about and explore. Which is exactly what a group of student artists from China did. John J. Park, who's a famous concept artist for a lot of big Hollywood movies, started an online concept art class for Chinese students. And one of the assignments was to design totally new concept art for the original Star Wars movie. So each student recreated an iconic character from A New Hope in not only a different art style, but also completely different era and imagery imaginable. Suffice to say, they took a lot of creative liberties with the designs, and that's perfectly fine. Sure, some of the characters hardly even resemble their George Lucas Star Wars designs, but that's the point of all this. See how Star Wars would potentially look like in an alternative dimension. Be creative, have fun. The first set totally reminds me of the Yuzong Vong from Star Wars Legends, who were a powerful insectoid similar like alien race that were totally invulnerable to the Force. Very cool and possibly the most outside the box thinking someone did when tasked with this assignment. The second set is something straight out of the Mad Max series, or pretty much any other post-apocalyptic world. Not quite sure why Han Solo looks like old Ben Kenobi, or why Vader has a puppy companion. But I wouldn't mind hearing more about their backstories here and what the artist was thinking of when designing them. Now of course there are also some sets that do actually take place in a futuristic space setting. One that you would probably see in one of the many generic modern Hollywood movies set in space. The Stormtroopers in both sets definitely resemble Stormtroopers. But funny thing is, apparently they don't have lightsabers in that universe considering Luke is holding a baseball bat instead. Go figure. Heck, there's also a design that looks to be a cross between sci-fi and the Legend of Zelda. For some reason in this one, everyone looks similar to their original design, with the exception of Luke and Han Solo who look like completely different characters. Han is black for some reason and Luke is some elf or native American warrior? I, I can't really tell, maybe a combination of both, who knows. The next few sets seem to be inspired by mythic and feudal Japan. One big take from all of this is no matter what setting, Darth Vader always seems to look like the coolest out of the whole bunch. I really don't have any idea what was going through the artist's head when designing C-3PO here. But of the four arms, I can maybe see some inspiration potentially drawn from General Grievous maybe? But yeah, some of these are amazing and it definitely makes you wonder how the movies would have looked like if Ralph McQuarrie hadn't done the art, or if Star Wars had been made today instead. I figured it would have been neat to show you all these designs as looking at some of them really makes you appreciate the Star Wars we do have thanks to George Lucas. But that will do it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and if so, drop a like on the video to help support the channel. Also if you're looking for more Star Wars content, I'd recommend subscribing and hitting that bell notification so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. As always, I'll see you on the next one.